Hello, leaders and future leaders. This is retired Sergeant First Class Bites. In this video, we are going to discuss what the military can do for you. In recruiting, you meet a lot of people with many different goals. You look for their motivators and values and present them with features and benefits that meet their needs. You want to paint a picture showing them exactly what the military can do for them to assist in reaching their goals. That is what I will do in this video with the understanding that there are many different types of people out there with many different goals. Quick plug, I've had several people reach out to me recently to advise me that they have been sharing my videos to different groups and on social media platforms. That support means the world and it shows in my analytics as all my numbers are way above average. Remember, at 10,000 subscribers, I will be doing multiple giveaways to several subscribers, so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If you are a content creator, let me know in the comments and I will check out your channel and subscribe. All right, so what can the military do for you? A lot of the applicants I have met with had a strong interest in attending college but didn't receive a scholarship in high school and did not have the financial means to cover the cost of tuition. The military will at minimum provide you federal tuition assistance and the Montgomery GI Bill. Regardless of your MOS or how long you enlist for, all service members receive these educational benefits. Now depending upon your MOS, military branch, and length of enlistment, there are other schooling benefits you could receive. You will receive a monthly paycheck for your military service. If you are part of a guard or reserve unit, you will receive a part-time paycheck, and if you are active duty, you will receive a full-time paycheck. In the description, you will find a couple videos that go in-depth into pay so you can get a general idea of how much you will make a month as a soldier. On the topic of pay, active duty soldiers who are married or have children will also receive a basic allowance for housing, or BAH. This is a significant payment in conjunction with your monthly paycheck to cover the cost of your rent and other expenses. If you are a single soldier who does not have children and you are on active duty, the military will provide you with living arrangements in the barracks. You will likely have single or double man rooms. This room will have all the basic necessities that one would need in their home, such as a bathroom, kitchen with refrigerator, stove, dressers, etc. Water, gas, and electric will be covered fully by your military branch as well. All active duty soldiers will receive medical insurance at no cost. For guardsmen and reservists, there will be a small fee taken out of your monthly check for your insurance. Besides providing benefits, what else can the military do for you? I know that many people love the idea of traveling. I can guarantee that you will do this during your time in service. That may be in the form of a deployment, training, or a company or platoon trip. You will also have access to Space A travel. Space A is a benefit where the military allows you to catch a flight at no cost. The only catch is that you must parachute into your destination. But again, it's free, so I think it's worth it. That was a joke. The plane actually lands. One of the first things you do after joining the military is attend basic military training followed by your military occupational skill training. This is where you learn your trade. Experts from your military branch will train you to become a specialist in the military occupational specialty you signed up to do. Also, you will be receiving a full-time paycheck while you're receiving this training. Your lodging and meals will be provided as well. As you are sitting in front of your phone or computer watching this video, I want you to think about yourself. What are you currently doing to help your family and friends? What are you doing to help your country and community? Are you making any impact on the greater good of society? The military will provide you with a sense of worth like you have never felt before. You will be doing something bigger than yourself, something that you can be proud of. Although you might not necessarily be seeking companionship, I can confidently say that you will meet people while serving that will become lifelong, trustworthy, and loyal friends. I went to Infantry OSET almost 20 years ago and I still have very strong friendships with a lot of the guys who were in my platoon. You laugh, cry, sweat, and bleed with the men and women to your left and right. The bonds you will establish will be like none other. The military will provide you with discipline, make you physically and mentally tough, and help mold you into a better human. If you have a desire to get in shape but have been struggling to get the process started, the military will provide that kick in the butt you may need. Most active duty soldiers do physical fitness five days a week, and it is a group setting where you have the ability to push each other. You are literally being paid to work out and maintain a high level of fitness. Not everyone who joins will stay in for 20 years and retire. Although that is such a huge benefit, you may only want to do three to six years and jump back into the civilian workforce. The time you spent serving is going to benefit you for the rest of your life. Most civilian employers are looking to hire veterans. These employers know that veterans who were honorably discharged are going to be disciplined, on time, trustworthy, and have 
have a positive effect on their company and employees. If you watch sports or mixed martial arts, a lot of these athletes say that the reason they started training is because they wanted a challenge. You might have a similar personality. Not only will the military challenge you physically, you will be challenged intellectually. Half of the military occupational specialties require a high score on the ASVAB test because the positions require an individual to operate on a high level mentally. And all those jobs don't mean you're sitting behind a desk working on a computer either. Example, your ASVAB test scores must be exceptionally significant in order to become a special forces soldier. The military has something to offer everybody. If you're contemplating joining, let me know what branch and job you are considering in the comments below. If you have a specific lingering concern about joining, let me know. I will give you my honest opinion. Please show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing. Until next time, this is Sergeant First Class Bites.